What is up everybody out there in YouTube land? Jose Ortiz here from PetRockMedia.com back again with another video and today I have a brand new surprise in this bag. The bag is also the surprise, the bag is new, but what's inside is what's really really killer and I cannot believe I'm able to finally finally become an owner of one of these cameras. Roll the intro. Hello once again guys, this is Jose from PetRockMedia.com and if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and punching that bell icon so you're notified each and every time we post videos or go live. So as I mentioned, the bag is new as well. This is the Ona Bowery bag. I'll be doing a little bit more intensive review about this bag, the qualities, the pros, the cons, and so forth, but it's what's in this bag that I cannot wait to show you. So if you're new to the channel, I've talked about this camera before. I've talked about wanting to potentially own one of these cameras. And finally, I am in a position to where I can finally purchase one of these bad boys and I cannot wait to show you guys. One more thing that I'm also using with this bag is the Ona strap. This is the Presidio, I believe. Um, all leather strap. Love, love, love this strap. And I think this particular camera strap complements the camera that I'm about to show you extremely well. So on Friday, June the 5th, my wife and I made a trip up to Austin, Texas, where I was finally able to purchase a camera that I've been wanting to get for quite a while, and that is the Leica Q2. I actually own a freaking Leica camera, guys. I cannot believe I'm saying that. I have forever wanted to own a digital Leica. I have photographed on the film version of Leicas, and I loved everything about that film replication on a Leica. But now... I am finally able to own a digital Leica. Yes, it doesn't have interchangeable lenses. Yes, this lens is on there, but this lens was specifically built to be attached to the Leica Q2. So we're gonna run through a few little bit of the specs for a courtesy of Leica's website. This has a 47.3 full frame sensor that can capture images up to ISO 50,000. Now one of the big advantages of the Q2 over the Q1 is that this body is now finally fully weather sealed. This camera is a beast when it comes to street photography and I'm very very happy that Leica listened to everybody that had the Q1 and they took into consideration their main issue when shooting in the streets and weather happens to not be so favorable. Now they fully weather sealed this body. Now again the lens is fixed. It is a beautiful 28 millimeter f1.7 fast fast lens. Now I know normally people are used to shooting in 35 millimeter equivalent and this being a 28 millimeter kind of opens your frame a little bit more. However, I've really been enjoying photographing with this camera. Now again, it is Sunday, June the 7th right now and I just picked this camera up here a few days ago. However, the few images and I'm going to be popping some up over as I talk have been incredibly lifelike and incredibly detailed based off of what I can get so far from this camera. The images pop, they're super lifelike. They replicate the image that I remember seeing when I picked up the camera and hit the shutter button on this thing. Color reproduction, the black and whites also, if you like to shoot black and white, I have this set up to shoot RAW plus JPEG and the JPEG, and I'll show you some of those images here as well. It comes out as a high contrast black and white, and I'll show you some of those images here as well. The replication of black and white on this camera as well is extremely phenomenal. Very, very awesome, tack sharp, and definitely, definitely worth looking at. If you're going to pick up a Q2, definitely consider maybe potentially shooting in black and white with your JPEG just to capture that color image in black and white as well. Now this has a newly developed high resolution OLED viewfinder with 3.68 megapixels in that bad boy. Now it has a very, very good autofocus. I wouldn't put it up there as far as the Sony autofocus, but I would still say this is no slouch. This thing can autofocus with a breeze and it's awesome to shoot with and again you won't be disappointed with the autofocusing system in the bit like a q2 it does have 4k video cinema 4k and courtesy of the firmware 2.0 that was just released not too long ago you now have full manual control of your video prior to that with version 1.0 firmware it was pretty much all automatic video all the settings that were dialed in once you hit record you weren't able to change them now you can but again, you're not buying a Leica for video. I look at it as this is an amazing, amazing photo camera that can happen to take video should you need it in a pinch. And the video is also cinematic 4K and can shoot in 30 and 24 frames per second. Now, what I really, really like about this camera as well is its built-in thumb rest right here. 
that little thing is amazing when it comes to just overall holding when you're doing street photography and you're able to film like this and you're able to shoot like this having a comfortable place to put your thumb is pretty pretty awesome that they included that in the camera body so again that little indention right there is pretty cool to have that while you're able to shoot and comfortably rest your thumb right there so those are some quick specs about the brand new Leica Q2 that I just picked up. It's not necessarily brand new that it just came out, but it's brand new to me. It's brand new in my arsenal. There is, to me, the iconic lens hood that a lot of Leicas have with their lenses built in to the Leica Q2. Well, not really built in. It's removable. However, it's right there. It comes with it in one amazingly sleek package that, again... I am completely blessed to be able to purchase one of these cameras, and I cannot say thank you to everybody who supported this channel. I'm going to leave a link down below if you're interested in purchasing one. Yes, it is an affiliate link. It does keep the lights on. It keeps the channel going. In no way do you need to. In no way do you have to click on that link. If you're interested in buying a Leica Q2, definitely do some homework, do some research. I personally cannot be more happy with the results that I'm getting from this camera, and it's only been a few days. My goal is to keep this with me every single day throughout the remainder of the year and let's see what kind of images I can capture and maybe I'll do a video towards the end of the year of what I was able to capture. But that about wraps up this video guys. Again, I'll do another video on the Bowery bag and what I keep in this camera bag, almost like an everyday camera carry, an EDC if you will, and I'll post that video here in the next coming weeks. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, punch that bell icon. This is Jose once again with PetRockMedia.com signing out. Peace. Thank you.